Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Indian School of Physics. Guys, this is Nitin here and I have come up with a very amazing and uh, very challenging problem from Pathfinder. It's uh, quite conceptual and uh, it's uh, tough not to crack. Guys, this video is brought to you by Indian School of Physics and Unacademy together and name of this problem is uh, sliding bead on an elastic cord. Guys, my current courses on Unacademy are INPHO Foundation uh, for JE Advanced 2023 and uh, Advanced Problem Solving Course for JE Advanced 2021 is currently going on. So guys, in this course, we are going to solve some of the finest problems for uh, JE Advanced uh, preparation and uh, also Advanced Grand Test GTs are uh, have already started. Yesterday there was GT1 and guys almost uh, 20 tests will be there uh, in the next uh, uh, few days so make sure that you are uh, writing these tests these are free of uh, cost and uh, uh, these are collection of some of the best problems in physics and guys uh, on 12th my advanced course on electrostatics uh, for je 2022 is starting uh, uh, starting uh, this is for english students and you can access my theory courses which are of advanced plus plus levels for boosting your J preparation and it will make a huge difference in your uh, uh, preparation level you can unlock uh, courses or test series or papers uh, on unacademy using my code nitin sir and uh, uh, for more information you can visit www.unacademy.com and guys trust me physics will never be the same again so here is this problem from pathfinder uh, a light elastic cord of force constant K and relaxed length L is suspended from ceiling. A bead of mass M uh, threaded on cord is held motionless close to the ceiling and released. If the bead slides down the cord with a constant speed V relative to the ceiling, find the expression for thermal power dissipated during the sliding of the bead. So it's a very challenging problem. At least I found it uh, quite challenging in order to process it. So concept wise, let's discuss this uh, problem. It is given that bead is moving down with constant velocity. So therefore, uh, there must be some friction between the elastic cord and the bead. This is the first thing which we are going to notice about this problem. And second thing it is uh, given uh, that uh, by action reaction pair, this uh, friction force will be also acting on the elastic cord. And but as the bead is sliding, as the bead is sliding down point of application of this friction force is going to change for the elastic cord the next part the gravity is doing positive work and friction is doing negative work on the bead whereas friction is doing positive work on the elastic cord overall net work done by the friction force is negative and we can say heat dissipation is uh, nothing but the total work done by the friction so in this situation we can write uh, the gravity is doing positive work so this will be the gain in energy and some part of this energy will be stored in the uh, uh, the cord or you can say elastic potential energy difference of these two will be dissipated in the form of heat so we can simply write uh, this is work done by gravity minus energy stored in the elastic cord here it's very simple like if we assume this distance to be x then we can simply write this work done by gravity is mgx but whole challenge is about uh, finding energy stored in the elastic cord so let's analyze the system at any general time t so from the ceiling at this instant from the ceiling this bead is at a distance of x and uh, uh, here we can uh, say uh, that bead speed is given as speed of the bead is given as v so i can write it as uh, v is equal to dx by dt now also the natural length for this upper part let's say that is y but due to this friction you can say on the bead friction is upward so on the elastic cord this friction is going to act in downward direction so it is going to pull this part but one thing you must notice since uh, this uh, elastic cord is uh, massless so you can see this entire part here force is acting and this entire part is going to be in natural length itself because it is 
uh, it is massless and you can say here the force must be balanced in the upper part and this part will not be feeling anything or you can say it remains in its natural length or without any extension we can say so let's say natural length of the upper part is y and uh, the extension here is delta y so i can say x is nothing but uh, y plus delta y in this situation so extension is coming only in upper part so if it's a spring constant or a force constant i'm taking as k dash so i can write k dash into natural length is equal to k total into total length so this is our equation number one and this friction is also mg because bead is moving with constant velocity now guys here you can see uh, this uh, elastic cord is massless so this friction is also equal to k delta y k of upper part i have to take which is k dash delta y and this should be equal to mg as well and uh, earlier already i have told you that this x is nothing but upper part natural length plus extension in this y plus delta y i can write now this mg is going to be equal to this delta y is nothing but x minus y so this expression becomes uh, k dash x minus k dash y and if you see this carefully k dash y is nothing but kl so this k dash x minus kl is equal to mg so from here i get the value of this k dash which is mg plus kl by x because we are going to use this while writing energy of it so now energy is stored in the chord i can very simply i can write it is uh, nothing but in the upper part half k dash into delta y square so k of upper part and delta x is basically this delta y change in length of the upper part whole square of this now this delta y we have seen here it is nothing but mg by k dash so when i substitute the value mg by k dash whole square of it uh, the elastic potential energy becomes as uh, m square g square by 2 k dash so when i substitute the value of k dash here uh, which is mg plus kl by x so this expression becomes uh, m square g square x by 2 mg plus kl and now i can write the expression for heat it is nothing but mgx minus m square g square x by 2 times uh, mg plus kl now here if i differentiate this i'll get the power dissipated or rate of heat generation so this dh by dt dx by dt i'll substitute as v so mgv minus m square g square v by 2 times mg plus kl when i simplify this uh, this becomes as the answer which, where power is uh, mgv times uh, mg plus 2 kl by 2 times mg plus kl and this is going to be the final answer for this uh, problem I hope guys you have enjoyed this solution. I had a tough time in solving this uh, problem uh, when first time I tried it. But uh, yes, uh, once you understand the logics properly, this becomes quite a uh, fascinating problem. So if you have enjoyed this solution, please leave a like, share this problem with others. And if you haven't subscribed my channel, please subscribe it. I'll be coming up very soon with another amazing problem. Thank you. Thanks for watching it.